Well, hello and welcome back to Noah's Window. Um, it's such a rich passage. I thought today we'd go back to Second Peter and still in chapter one. And coming right after what we talked about yesterday, the very next verse, Peter says, in view of all this, we talked about God's promises and how we have everything we need that we've been provided with to live this life that we need to live. In view of all this, make every effort to respond to God's promises. Supplement your faith with the generous provision of moral excellence, moral excellence with knowledge, knowledge with self-control, and self-control with patient endurance, and patient endurance with godliness, godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love for everyone. The more you grow like this, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, um, I want to jump down a little bit because he's giving them some basics. It's encouragement. And he's saying, I know you already know this. But it, he, he goes on in verse um, 12. He says, therefore, I will always remind you about these things, even though you already know them mm -hmm. and, and are standing firm in the truth you've been taught. So some things we just need to be reminded of. It's just healthy to be reminded all the time. You know, that this is what this life is about, that this is what we've been provided, and that we have all that we need to live this life, and that this is what it's going to look like. And, and these are the things that look hard, but they're going to build us up in our faith walk. Well, I can testify that it's not the complex aspects of theology that I need to be reminded of. It's the simple things, mm -hmm. uh, because the simple things in many cases are the, are the most challenging. And Peter is saying to them, you know, yesterday we were talking about how to keep Satan from attacking us or from luring us away. Peter's saying, now I want you to get aggressive mm -hmm. in the way that you live your life so that you begin to be very focused on pleasing the Lord. Yes. Yeah, and the, I love the make every effort. Mm -hmm. He knows we're not going to be perfect. Right. But we're, we're going to be making every effort we have with God's help because we've been given the provision to live this life. And we're going to be focused on that and uh, joyful in serving the Lord. But I love the always remembering and, and reminding. You know, sometimes uh, rem reminders can sometimes be annoying, honestly. Yeah, they about, can. Yeah. But, you know, on the other hand, Sometimes we just need someone to remind us of what we already know. You know, I love the story of Charles Spurgeon, who I think was the greatest preacher of the last 500 years. One of the most prolific writers and speakers. They never were build a big, able to build a building big enough to hold all the people who wanted to hear him preach over in London. But one day he was just kind of tired and he was walking through the countryside and it was Sunday morning and there was a little country church and he walked in the back door and sat down and the preacher, young preacher who was up preaching, was preaching one of Spurgeon's sermons. Mm -hmm. He was preaching a sermon on salvation. And at the end of the service, when he realized Charles Spurgeon was there, he said, oh, Dr. Spurgeon, I'm so embarrassed. I'm preaching your sermon and you're here. And he said, young man, I needed to hear that today. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, and again, it was just on, on God's plan of salvation. Yet perhaps the greatest preacher of all time said, I, I need to be reminded of that. Mm -hmm. it, I, I think there's everything good about that. Yes, and it reminds me of the, the basics. Back to the basics, that's what causes us to stand firm. You know, you know one of the greatest theologians of the 20th century uh, was being interviewed, and he was asked the question, what is the deepest theological truth mm -hmm. you have discovered? There was a pause for a moment, and this brilliant, brilliant theologian said, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the, for the Bible, Bible tells me so. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yes, we're never too old for the no, basic truths no. of the Scripture. And, right. and again, I want to just kind of piggyback on something we said at the end of yesterday's broadcast, which is this book is written about the last days. Mm -hmm. And I think in these last days we're, we're, in which we're living, we're going to need to be reminded of just the basics over and over and over, mm -hmm. the goodness of God, um, the fact that God does want his children to be godly and holy even in these mm -hmm. dark days. I mean, we just go over the simple things, and it's something we need to be reminded of and to remind ourselves every day. Yes. You know, some things just bear repeating over and over. You know, someone that you love, you never get tired of hearing them say that they love you. You know, there's just some things that you just you want to hear over and over and over, and, and it, it warms your heart and it builds your faith. and. So I know these are basics, but I hope you'll grab your Bible and read through Second Peter again because I think it'll really be a blessing to you. Yeah, and just one more time to go to, go back to where you started. Peter was like, you have these precious promises. They keep you from falling into Satan's traps. We talked about that yesterday. But Peter's like, okay, but, but don't just be passive about this. Mm -hmm. Add to your faith these other spiritual qualities. And he said, the more you do these things, the stronger we'll become. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me of what we talked about last week about exercising those muscles. They mm -hmm. get stronger 
it seems hard, but it makes us stronger. So that's something to think about as we go through the day today. Yes. Yeah, so as we close out today, Mark, would you lead us in? Yes. Father, uh, thank you for how that you never give up on us. And Lord, we do thank you for how your word reminds us of these precious truths over and over and over again. And Lord, for any of us who are beginning to get discouraged with the way the world is going or the way the troubles perhaps that we're encountering and maybe starting to despair, I pray, God, you would remind us of these wonderful truths from your word uh, so that we can be um, faithful and effective in these last days. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for praying for us, Mark, and thank you for joining us here on Noah's Window, and we'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.